hello everyone in this presentation we are going to discuss about the entry and exit system say for example in there is a hall there is an entry sensor and there is an exit sensor which is kept in the entrance and exit this entry and exit sensors are connected to the interrupts of your 8051 external interrupt 0 and external interrupt 1 which is configured in falling edge trigger mode every entry which increments a variable c every exit which decrements the variable c and the main routine does the necessary code conversion for displaying it is in multiplexer 7 segment display and there is a timer zero interrupt service routine which uh, displays the corresponding number in the multiplexer 7 segment display okay so for this entry exit system two external interrupts and one timer interrupts and one main routine are being used so one main routine and three interrupt service routines are being used in this particular uh, entry exit system application now if you look at the scheduling part so we should we are going to justify that 8051 is non preemptive we going to justify that 8051 is non preemptive what do you mean by non preemptive if i say for example main routine is running at every 8192 microsecond timer is configured in uh, 13 bit timer mode so at uh, once in 8192 microsecond timer will overflow and the display will get refreshed and then it will come to the main routine it will continue the main routine after 8192 microsecond timer will uh, timer interrupt will get generated it will go to the timer zero esr it refreshes once tens hundreds and thousands by the time it is executing the timer zero esr if if i if there is an any person enters if there is a person enters say for example if there is a person enters the entry sensor will produce the transition from 1 to 0 we know that external interrupt 0 is having highest priority than the timer 0 but because the non preemptive nature of 8051 even though external interrupt 0 happens external interrupt 0 immediately will never run it will wait until timer 0 interrupt service routine completes it returns from the interrupt after servicing the interrupt timer 0 returns from the isr and once if it returns it will come to the main routine in the main routine it runs one instruction after executing that instruction it poll for interrupts while polling it will understand extend end of zero flag was set so extend end of zero is available so it will go to the extend end of zero isr and then it will do the incrementing the count where one person has entered then it will come back to the main routine and then continue okay even though extend end of zero is having highest priority than the timer zero interrupt but extend end of zero will wait until timer zero returns from the interrupt service routine so this time delay where extra interrupt zero is waiting until the timer zero interrupt service routine returns from the isr is called as interrupt latency and this latency is because of non preemptive nature of 8051 that is the one we need to understand to justify this is non preemptive we have done one more uh, interesting concepts here so if it is preemptive means what this diagram says that if it is preemptive whenever any extra interrupt zero comes from the timer zero interrupt it goes to the extend interrupt zero it will increment it will come back and continue the timer zero interrupt so this is called as nested interrupt from main routine it goes to the timer zero from timer zero it goes to extend interrupt from from extend interrupt it returns to the timer from timer it returns to the main routine this is nested interrupt so this is not possible in 8051 that we need to understand why because nested interrupt will happen only for uh, preemptive scheduling but 8051 this is not happening but what is happening as told this is happening this is happening so what is happening so as usual as i told main routine is running at every 8192 microsecond uh, timer overflows it goes to the timer zero isr while executing the timer zero isr even though extra end of zero interrupt comes it it waits until the timer zero returns from the interrupt service routine timer zero will come back to the main routine in the main routine it will execute one instruction after executing one instruction it will pour for poll for interrupts so where it checks that it identifies the extra interrupt zero is ready so it goes to the extra interrupt zero yes sir it increments and come back it continues the main routine and when the timer interrupt comes it comes to the timer interrupt while executing the timer interrupt the lowest priority interrupt with respect to timer is extra interrupt one get generated which is exit so it waits 
until it returns from the interrupt. So it will come back to the main routine. In the main routine, after executing one instruction, it will check for, it will poll for interrupts. So extended to one flag will set. So because of that, it will goes to the ESR, completes the extended one by decrementing the variable, and come back to the main routine. Continue the main routine. Once the timer interrupt comes, it will go to the timer zero ESR. Here, even though if it extends interrupt zero comes due to non-preemptive nature, it waits until the timer zero returns. Then timer zero returns back to the main routine. In the main routine, it executes one instruction. After executing that instruction, it pulls for interrupt. While polling, it identifies extends interrupt zero is ready. Then from here, it goes to the extends interrupt zero, and then it will increment and come back to the main routine. It continues. So. When the pro interrupt service routine is executing, it will return back to the main routine. In the main routine, it will check for next highest priority interrupt. Among the several interrupts ready, which is having highest priority, program execution will go to that corresponding ISR that we need to understand. So inside the interrupt service routine, it will never poll for interrupts until it returns from the interrupt service routine that we need to understand. This we are going to experiment in uh, the thing. So here the non-preemptive nature is experimented by making the system to hang that is what we are going to understand here so inside this extended interrupt one while decrementing we are uh, hanging the system by uh, writing a while one here and even though timer zero interrupt and external interrupt zero are having highest priority because it hangs it never returns from interrupt because it never returns from interrupt display will never get refreshed it will never increment that we are going to experiment it now and look at the code for this or let us look at this kit. So this kit has the executed that program. Now it is resetting. So this is the display refreshing code which is getting refreshed. Display is getting refreshed once in 8192 microsecond. Once in 8192 microsecond means approximately 8 millisecond. So if we approximate it as 10 millisecond means in one second 100 times the display display get refreshed. So because of persistence sufficient we are not able to see. It's the uh, ones get refreshed, tens get refreshed, hundreds get refreshed, thousand gets refreshed. So for incrementing, right? This is the incrementing now. Extend interrupt zero. I'm creating extend interrupt zero. So P3.0 is connected to a switch which is an entry sensor. 3.1 is connected to the switch which is an exit sensor. Sorry, 3.2 is connected to the switch which is an entry sensor. 3.3 is connected to the switch which is an exit sensor. So I'm this is switch is entry sensor. So I'm pressing the switch. So people are entering. So two people, three people, four people, five people, six people, etc. When I decrement, as I told you know, I have written the while loop, so it will never execute the. Uh, it will never execute, right? Reset. It increments one, two, three, four. And while decrementing, it will decrement, but it will never execute the timer zero ISR. It will never execute the extend interrupt zero. Why? Because it is not returning from the ESR. So this justifies 852 is non preemptive that we can test it in the code. Now look at the code here. This is very interesting. Now look at the code here. So this is very clearly mentioned, right? This code justifies 815 microcontroller is non preemptive. Extra interrupt 0 is having highest priority than the timer 0 interrupt. Timer 0 interrupt having highest priority than extra interrupt 1. In the extra interrupt 1 ISR, we have purposefully created a while 1 function written to make the execution not written from the extra interrupt 1 ISR. So this is very important. By writing while 1, we are making the code not to return from the extra interrupt 1 ISR. Because of while 1, the execution will never return from the extra interrupt 1. Even though the timer 0 interrupt for display referencing and extra interrupt 0 for incrementing the count from every entry is having highest priority than the extra interrupt 1, these interrupts cannot preempt the external interrupt 1 and will never execute which is being justified here. So you see these are all the um, trans segment selection lines and this is the variables declaration, this is the delay routine, this is the extend interrupt 0 interrupt service routine which increments the variable, this is extend interrupt 1 interrupt service routine which decrements the variable where here we hanged the system that means from the extend interrupt 1 it will never return to the main routine right. And both are uh, configured as edge triggered mode by making IT0 as 1 and IT1 as 1. External interrupt, all the three interrupts, timer 0 for display refreshing, external interrupt 1, external 0 for entry and exit, all are being initialized and uh, started. So here the main routine, we do the code conversion and uh, in the external interrupt 0, we do the increment, in the external interrupt 1, we do the decrement and then hanging and in the timer 0 interrupt service routine, we are refreshing once, tens, 
hundreds and thousands. This is the code. So when we run this code, when we simulate this code, we go to the debugger window. Here if we see, when we are running, right, when we are running, you can see, timer extra interrupt 0, timer 0 and extra interrupt 1, all are enabled and the timer is keep on running and uh, 0 is getting keep on displaying whenever we are incrementing right extent of 0 is incrementing right 1 you can see the count value here it is getting incremented 1 2 3 etc it's very interesting right so let me use the magnifier for convenience let me use the magnifier for convenience here if you see this is p3.0 3.1 3.2 whenever I am incrementing by using P3.2 3.2 I am pressing so it is keep on incrementing right so you can see C variable is getting incremented once is becoming 7 then incrementing 8 9 10 11 12 etc it is keep on happening and extra timer 0 is TF0 flag was set and uh, there is no request because all the interrupts are being serviced now we are creating a problem by making extra interrupt 0 as 0 extra interrupt 1 as 0 we are creating the falling edge. Now we have created the falling edge because of the program execution has gone to the external interrupt 1 ISR and then the program execution hangs in the external interrupt 1 ISR. Program execution hangs here. Because it hangs, here you see, because it hangs here if you see the interrupts, right? Timer 0 is keep on requesting because every 8092 microsecond it is requesting. You can see. The timer 0 overflow flag is set and is waiting for servicing but it is not getting served. Okay, now if I am creating an entry, extra interrupt 0, so I am pressing this which means entry sensor, so extra interrupt 0 is also requested which is not being serviced. Why? Because the program execution is not returning from the extra interrupt 1. Now the extra interrupt 1 is being serviced but timer 0 is having a yes priority than extra interrupt 1. Extra interrupt 0 is having a yes priority than extra timer extra interrupt 1 both are there and both are waiting because timer 1 interrupt service routine is not getting not returned from the ISR this justifies 8051 is non preemptive that can be experienced in the kit also so in the kit if you see in the kit if you see I am resetting it the same code I am incrementing 1 2 3 4 5 6 etc so every key press it increments and when I am pressing that justifies extra interrupt 0 is running display is showing 16 which is justifies timer 0 ISR is running but when I am ex decrementing right if I decrement it the display goes display goes off and then even though if you do the entry highest priority that is also not happening only when reset it works so it entry is happening display refreshing is happening while doing exit because while loop is written program never returns because it never returns timer 0 is having AS priority which is never getting executed in entry sensor is having AS priority which is extent of 0 which is not getting executed if you see this so it gets hanged hanged means it is not returning from the interrupt this justifies extend 8051 is non preemptive thank you